In today's lecture, we will learn about the installation of uh, analysis services tabular mode and uh, then we will install the SQL Server Management Studio then we have to install the Visual Studio that is the Visual Studio Community Edition and uh, then we have to import AdventureWorks DW 2016 database so that uh, we can properly work on learning analysis services tabular mode with Power BI. So what you have to do, you need to open one browser and uh, write SQL Server free and uh, this is the link you can see here SQL Server downloads and uh, then you have to click the developer edition right just click here and uh, you will see this uh, exe will be will be downloaded you just need to open it here we we had already downloaded this sql server developer edition because the sql server developer edition contains the analysis service tabular package and we don't have this package available in the um, express edition so we just need to double click click yes and uh, then here we have to either you can download all the uh, if you click here download media then you can download all the files that is uh, I think 1 GB 367 MB or uh, you can just click custom you need to choose the location and then you have to click install this one. So it will take time because uh, in my case it is already downloaded and uh, I, I had already installed all these things. So for the demonstration I will go through all the steps so that uh, you can understand how to do the installation of all the required softwares. So you need to click here installation and then click the new SQL Server standalone installation. Just click here. And uh, then you have to click next. And after this, if you see all this stuff green, then it's okay if we have some warning for the firewalls, uh, but it's okay. It will not harm our installation. You need to click next. And uh, here you have to choose perform a new installation of SQL server 2019 just click this one the first option and here you can see we have express edition developer and evaluation and you have to choose developer no need to change anything just choose developer click next and accept click next and this is the very important step here you have to choose database engine services this one and uh, then we have to choose here the analysis services you can also choose client tools connectivity and client tools backward compatibility these four options that you need to select right and then you need to click next and here you have to write the name of your uh, instance right for like uh, I say msql server 2020 right this is the name of the name instance you can write any any name here then click next here you can see we have the SQL server agent to run different uh, services manually and here the SQL server database engine the analysis service the SQL server browser okay you don't need to change anything here just click next and here you have to choose under server configuration you have to add the current user you just need to click here then the windows user will be added here and for the authentication mode we need to select windows authentication mode for this demo right and if you are working on the productive environment or 
you need some more security then you have to choose the mix mode authentication for this course we will choose the windows authentication mode and then add the current user this is the current user that is logged on the on this window then click next and here you can see we have a different uh, mode here server mode the multi-dimensional mode tabular mode and the power pivot mode and we will choose tabular mode because this course is all about how to work with the tabular mode in analysis services then again you need to click add current user that's it click next and uh, that's all so these are the all these steps that we have uh, selected prior like uh, the edition is the developer edition and then we have the database engine services analysis services and it, this is the instance name right and then you have to click install i will not install it because i had already installed this uh, sql server 2019 setup and once you will click install then you don't need to do anything it will automatically install everything it will take time but at the end when you and uh, it will take a bit time and uh, once it is done then you need to move to the next package and the next step is we need to install here as per server management studio studio free and here you can see the download the SQL Server Management Studio, you just need to click the download SQL Server Management Studio. And uh, here you can see we already, I, I will cancel it because I had already here the SQL Server Management Studio setup. You just need to double click um, here because it is already installed. And here is the button that you need to just click install and it will be installed. Just need to follow the wizard and then it will be fine. Okay and uh, then at the end you need okay uh, let me show you one more thing if you don't know what to do here you can see uh, when you will let me go here if you double click the sql server developer edition custom install And you will see under tools, uh, installation, under installation, you will see install SQL Server management tools. If you click here, it will automatically point to the SQL Server management studio and, and then you can download and install it, right? So it's not difficult. And uh, after this, we need to install, for example, um, SQL Server data tools just click here and here you have to install the sql server data tool for the visual studio 2019 right so you need to install the visual studio 2019 community you just need to click here and here we need to install the free version that is the community edition right and it is and if you click download and uh, it will be downloaded here right and i had already downloaded this can see the community edition you just need to double click here okay and uh, click continue it will take a bit time so it is already installed and you are not uh, seeing here the option install and when you will install the first time you just need to click install and it will automatic and uh, it is it is very straightforward to install the view studio community and once it is done, you can click here launch. And uh, when you will launch uh, this, you can click here continue without code. And when you will click new, new project. And uh, here you see, uh, like if you search here, SSAS, like the analysis services. And here you can see we we have the analysis services a tabular project and when you will try to create the new project you will not able to see the analysis service tabular project here so what you have to do you just need to go here extensions 
this option under extension you need to click the manage extensions right and uh, then you need to search here like uh, tabular you just need to uh, click here tabular and uh, you will see here the analysis services tabular project you just need to click here and install right for example if i want to install uh, tabular formatter it is option it's download option you you can see here you, you will download and it automatically installed right and you you can see here the tick mark it means i i had already installed this project right so this is what you need for uh, learning analysis services tabular model so, okay so what we need we need the the visual studio the community edition and uh, then we need ssms this one right the microsoft sql server management studio and then we need in the in the last step we need um adventure works dw 2016 this is also you need to to search here adventure works dw 16 for example this one and here you can see the first link github.com and here you can see you you can just download and it will take time because it's um, just 21.4 mb and it is already there what we need to do now you just need to click uh, database engine the server name click connect and under under databases because i had already um, installed it if i delete it for example we don't have uh, this database at all so we need to click database and uh, let me zoom it i think it's better you you can see better and uh, then we have to click here restore database restore and uh, here you have to click device and under device you need to click head and uh, this is the location and how you will find this location you, you just need to uh, control a and control c so for example here you can click copy and paste and uh, then you can just copy this adventure verse dw and paste it here this is the location here the sql server will, auto will automatically restore the adventure works dw 2016.pack file and uh, go to the sql server management studio here we have to choose the file adventure works click ok click ok and uh, that's it So the adventure first TW 2016 restored successfully. Okay. So let me again click here. Here you can see you, if you if you are not able to see this database here, you can just um, click here and refresh. And uh, this is the name of the database. Click new query by selecting this database. And then we can go to the expand it and uh, here you can see different tables like team employee here and if i say select static from team employee click execute and here you can see all the underlying data right so we have installed the sql server management studio then we have installed the the visual studio community edition 2019 and uh, we have installed the analysis services tabular model and the sql server engine so that's all about the initial setup for this course and if you like this video please subscribe our channel and if you have any question please write in the comment section thank you